We continue our journey to the east, to South Korea by bicycle. It's a special day for us because we are about to cross a total of three borders in one day and soon we have to make a big decision. Starting at the end of October in Germany, it took us the whole of November to cycle 1,300 kilometers through France. Before heading on into Italy, it's time for the most glamorous part of the French Riviera. Okay, go right, right, right. Go, go, go. Okay, we are in Monaco. The Principality of Monaco, surrounded by France, is the second smallest sovereign state, right after the Vatican City. It is widely recognized as one of the wealthiest places in the world. It is also known for the Formula One race on the winding streets of this 2.1 square kilometer microstate. It's on our way, so here we go. Insane how expensive. Everything is here. Insane. It's mad. I just saw aubergine, uh, eggplant for 8 euros per kilogram. 8? That's insane. I mean, at this rate we could buy 2 kilograms of uh, eggplant and that's the entire budget for our day. <laughs> we skip the groceries shopping for now and hit the racetrack instead. Let's see what else Monaco has to offer. On paper we seem to be in paradise, a country of superlatives. Highest GDP per capita, lowest poverty rate, highest life expectancy and the highest concentration of millionaires and billionaires in the world. There's police everywhere. One tiny state, like two police stations, police, police. Uh, it's probably the safest, uh, the safest place on earth. Especially for money. <laughs> With 38,000 people, it's also the most densely populated state in the world. But only about a quarter of the population are of Monegasque nationality. Which means that the overwhelming majority of its residents chose Monaco because of its fantastic climate and, well, that's just an allegation, but most of them are refugees of sorts. Yes, you heard me right. Welcome to Monaco, where people are free free of personal income or wealth tax. Uh, oh, more police. <laughs> oh, I can, I'm allowed to throw the garbage into the garbage. <laughs> that's good, that's great. That's good. I am not allowed to eat. I'm not allowed to make pictures. But I'm allowed okay. to cycle. Okay, no, no you're allowed. not allowed. So maybe we walk through no. and have a look. We are not allowed to eat. Nope. So let's walk through this park and just get out of the city. Yes, what is it there? On oh, police station. Police station? Oh, it's, it's, it's sort of the third one. Uh, mm. there's, there's literally a police officer standing on every corner. So this is a place where people would uh, fly in with helicopters and bags full of cash. Oh, that's what people do here. There's much more interesting places all over. Uh, right behind the border probably in, in public places there's not even benches nothing so you would sit down and uh, I don't know enjoy the view or something but yeah on seriously every every single corner you see a security guard or a policeman or both so probably great feeling for rich people but uh, for normal people it's uh, had, it has been some time that I felt so uncomfortable like here in my so. Okay, walking, but here? It's fine here? Okay. <laughs> because we were on the bike two meters in front of the road, uh, the security guard already <laughs> gave me a sign. <laughs> he winked with a finger, no, 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 you don't do this, don't do this. Oh my god, I love this place. And that's our very personal take on the Principality of Monaco. For us, it's a one-hour reminder where we don't want to be. Oh yeah, this is France over there. Oh yeah, of course, I mean, there was no police station for at least 500 meters, so... I guess that's normal. This bridge is the border. Okay, that's very great. I feel much better already, I must say. Are you in France again? Yeah, we are in France again. Woohoo! Last French dawn. 
San Remo 28. The time is here. It's happening. So we're still in France, 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 France. And Italy. Woo! Buongiorno. Buongiorno. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. Crossing a border somehow feels like opening a new book or at least a new chapter. From the title we already have some expectations and now a whole new world lies right before us. With reaching the Italian Riviera we'll have to make a decision, since Marseille we had been pondering about our further route. There would be another way how we can go. To yeah, when we cross from the main road. Can go back. No, I don't go back. No way, I'm going back. Okay, then have fun. Bicycle touring is still new to us, ah. and naturally, we've had our ups and downs. We found continuous cycling in wet and cold conditions very challenging. We've raced to the coast and around the Alps to get to a warmer climate, and we feel a lot better indeed. Euro Euro 8 route is soon turning north over the Alps towards Turin and later going through the Balkans to Athens, Greece. It's on our bucket list, but climbing to over 2000 meters in December is just not something we are looking forward to right now. Weighing our options, we are considering giving up the Balkans for the time being and to follow the Italian coast further to the south instead. The time to make that choice has come. Yesterday we left France, where we traveled for one month and today we are in Italy and uh, camped here for the first time. Our plan is to reach uh, Genoa as fast as we can, uh, to take the ferry to Sicily, where we hope we can have better weather. I'm looking forward now to, to new experiences. Italian food also great, obviously. <laughs> um, uh, also warmer weather. I really want warmer weather. So let's go to Sicily. Ah. <laughs> yes, um, the sun is already shining. We still have some issues with feeling safe in the night and yesterday the sun was already down when we eventually settled for this place at the outskirts of San Remo. In the darkness an unfamiliar area can easily feel a little frightening. In fact since Marseille we have only had one good night outside. This is also a major factor for our decision to jump on a ferry to Sicily. At the end of the day we are traveling to see the world as it is, but also to have an overall good time. Listening inside and checking the weather forecast for northern Italy this December, we ultimately decided that right now we need some Dolce Vita. Wait a second, wait a second. There was something on the floor. This looks like very healthy cake. It's still good. Oh, uh, I think so. Probably not healthy, but uh, not, not probably, I mean definitely, definitely not healthy, but uh, hey, it was for free on the ground, what can you do? I just found our second breakfast on the street, okay. it's still in the package, <laughs> oh, okay. are you kidding me? Perfect. Okay. Couple of scooters here, just a couple. Das ist die beste Olivaöl, die man kaufen kann. Ja? Ja. Der Name von dieser Olivaöl ist Tajaska. Wenn Sie gehen zu Google, Google, mm -hmm. Tajaska. Dies ist fantastisch. We like strong taste. Strong taste, ja. Da. So mal die Karte. I 
Mmm, that's good. Oh wow. And when you chew it, it gets even stronger. It's great. Yeah. Oh wow. Great stuff everywhere. Peperoni al Catalino. Okay, let's have some. Buongiorno. Una sardenaia cipolla, focaccia cipolla qui. We got a lot of amazing stuff to eat for today. We spent a lot of money, but uh, what can you do? We are in Italy, so let's continue. As I'm lacking energy right now, it's time for a little delicious snack that I found on the street today. So let's see. It doesn't look too bad actually. Pretty soft. Mm. It's okay. It's not so bad. Shit. The Italian Riviera is a beauty just like the French one, but as it's a steep coast, everything is squeezed in between the mountains and the sea. The hour before the sun goes down, we are already looking for an opportunity to put up our tent. But there are people everywhere. Let me introduce you uh, our base for the second night in Italy. We had quite some trouble to find the space uh, where we could put our tent. Uh, and uh, it was already pretty dark as you can see uh, when we got lucky. We even found this carpet to put below our tent so it will be a little bit more warm, a little bit more comfortable. Also there were some uh, broken glass on the floor so this won't matter anymore. We can have our bikes in the back. Um, uh, yeah, we will uh, put the tent here. Um, Alex going to be the chef for the night. Uh, we'll do some potatoes with uh, a lot of garlic. Um, we can do this here, uh, covered by the by the tent, so uh, no one can even see the shine of the fire. And what Arif also found here uh, under the trash. This is perfect. We will put it on the bikes. The traffic will see this, and hopefully. They will keep a little bit more distance. It's great. We wanted to get this anyways uh, to try it. And uh, yeah, now we have it. Perfect. Mm -hmm. going up that hill from the sea uh, because uh, when we came around the corner I only saw the gate and I was like okay let's let's hope that it's not closed obviously the gate is closed Property. oh not really no it's not It's just a decoy. Are you kidding me? Oh no. Okay, well, anyhow, that would have been a way easier than this, but uh, yeah, what can you do? <laughs> but it looks really convincing, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're trying our distance keeping uh, for the first time today, and I would say it works pretty fine. Cars hold considerably more distance to us, which is great feeling. 
That's amazing. Perfect solution. Woohoo! Nope, nope, let's stop here. Stop, stop, stop. Janik, Janik, die Schranke wird jetzt runterkommen. Wow. Oh. Das ist Italian Driving Style. Wow. Oh. It's going down. I don't care. I want to go here. Okay. Okay. So, this is the difference between uh, me, German, and uh, other people. Probably. I don't know. So, no, I no. see the light no, no. and the blinking and the, and the the bell, and I'm like, okay, okay, let's stop now. Wow, right when I thought there was no train coming. Okay. We thoroughly enjoy the pace of bicycle travel. It enables us to see things that we would miss if we would dash along the road like in a car. On a bicycle we are completely exposed to our surroundings. That is not always easy, but it's also wonderful as we never know what surprise awaits us next. Hello, hello. <laughs> wow, where are you going? Uh, right now to Savona today and then Genoa and then we take a ferry uh, to Sicily. Wow. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. <laughs> so, where are you from and where are you going? We are going to Greece. To Greece? Yes. Cool, nice, nice. Yeah. We are in France. Yeah, okay. Yes. We just went through France from Germany and ah. uh, now uh, Sicily and then... Oh, you're many people. Yes, yes. Ah, that's insane. <laughs> Great. Uh, yeah, we are also now going to Italy, but we will take a shortcut with a ferry to Sicily. Yes. And then uh, from Sicily we go to Greece, Turkey, and then... Ah, oh, maybe we see you in Greece! Oh, yeah. 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 Yes! Let's go! Unfortunately, our encounter with this wild bunch of cyclists was of a brief nature. They had an intoxicating amount of energy and we would have loved to share part of our way with them, but it wasn't meant to be, at least for today. We needed a lunch break and they didn't. Them being gone as suddenly as they had showed up was kind of a sobering moment for us. We start to miss the sense of community we get from our friends and family. Fortunately, we are invited to stay with the sole warm showers on the Italian Riviera. We are closing in on Savona, and yet another extraordinary hosting experience. This is Warm Showers uh, Traveler's <laughs> Heaven. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Five star home. <laughs> so, it, the big empty living room. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, and also the, it's the, huge. The bed sheets that you folded yesterday. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. I'm, I'm proud of that. No, I mean, uh, Laura is really busy because she's basically hosting everyone who applies. So, Yay. wow. Laura, amazing. she's an amazing uh, person. Yeah, and also we met a French couple. Right. Uh, from Brittany. Brittany France, yeah. They do much more kilometers than we do in the same time, so <laughs> don't tell anyone. Um, we are lazy, you know, but we are all, they are young, so they have more energy, obviously, right? <laughs> also, also, today we go to Genoa together with them, where we will meet another uh, cycling couple from Spain, which also stayed, obviously, at Laura's place. <laughs> and then maybe we will do all, I don't know, being Christmas uh, in Sicily together with another Spanish couple and um, a dog and, well, who knows. So, uh, Laura, what was the amount of people you hosted earlier this week? Like this week, I don't know, but the total amount from June is 206, <gasps> 207, wow. something like that. <laughs> so, just so that you understand, it's now in the beginning of December, so... Many cyclists. June, July, <laughs> August, September, October. So in five months, so you're averaging about 40 per month. <laughs> so at least 1.3 people per day. <laughs> the rest is coming tomorrow. <laughs> Don't come in full size, come, come in parts. It's easier to handle. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Okay, now it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Of course. 
<laughs> yeah, my, my bad. <laughs> don't, don't take mm, it. It was so nice to meet you. Thank to you. Meet you. <laughs> you can follow me with the camera. No, I can take it. Oh, okay, camera needs to put on shoes. I mean, come on, you can go barefoot, it's no problem. <laughs> Let's go. This uh, beautiful little um, Italian town on the coast. I don't even know the name. Chevoli. Uh, out of pocket, uh, small fresh vegetable market. Uh, we stopped. I safeguard uh, our bikes. Uh, and the other people, uh, fresh couple, Guillaume and Mary, um, they're getting some stuff. Uh, we also need to buy some bread um, so we can have a nice uh, lunch here for the day. Guys, there you are. Uh, there's no bread. No bread here? No. No. But there are giant cookies if you want. Giant. <laughs> oh, no. Anyhow, we're going to stay on a roof uh, in Genoa today and it's not so far anymore, maybe 35 kilometers out of Genoa. We are having good progress. There's a lot of cyclists on the road. Just uh, we met a guy who was like, oh, grande ragazzi. Great feeling, great feeling. Uh, much more welcoming to, to be honest, uh, people here on the road. We've made it to Genoa. Marie and Guillaume will continue through northern Italy and the Balkans, but we've made our decision final. After one day of rest, we'll board the big ship to Sicily. Carmen and Gemma, a Spanish couple, will be hosting us. We don't know them yet, but we've been trailing them for almost two weeks now. We hope to convince them to take the ship as well. It's getting close to Christmas and we would love to have a bunch of people around. Special thanks to Penny Carmichael and Barry Smith for being not only the first ones to support us on a monthly basis via Buy Me A Coffee, but also to upgrade their membership to the One More Day tier. Supporting us via buymeacoffee.com is great. We love creating these videos and sharing our story with you. But as you might imagine, it is a lot of work and costs a lot of money. So if you are able to chip in, it will enable us to do this much longer. <gasps> Thank you, and back to the story. And now we are going to the port to take the ferry to Palermo. 30 minutes right, and uh, we'll be there a little early, so that we hopefully can board before the cars and uh, yeah, be on our way. Find a good space um, in the ferry, and uh, hopefully yeah, everything will work out. So the problem is, we have no idea where we need to go to take the ferry. The, I don't know, the description was not very helpful and the signs, the road signs are not at all. So bear with us if we find the right spot to embark on the ferry. Because I have no idea where it is. Maybe it's here, I don't know. Let's hope it's here. Let's see here. Porto, yeah, passenger terminal. Okay, let's go then. Ah, oh, there is the check in. Is 
So we are about to uh, embark on the ferry very, very soon. That's it. Another first for us. It is actually fairly straightforward, even with bicycles. We booked the most affordable category available, the economy Pullman seat for 65 euros each. So we need to go up one more uh, item. Sorry, okay. uh, we have uh, booked sofas. Sleeping chairs, Where shall we sit? one more up. Uh, sky. sky, yeah, how, how do we go there? This way, okay. Gracias. Gracias. For us though, the ferry turns out to be quite convenient and we are happy about the longer ride. Now this ship will catapult us 800 kilometers to Palermo in under a day. We are excited but also a little anxious as we got used to a gradual change of our surroundings. Sicily. Most of what we know is from the movies, but soon we will find out for ourselves. Uh, we just uh, got a promotion offer, a uh, donut and uh, espresso for two euros. And actually it's the smallest donut and the shortest espresso I've seen so far in my life. <laughs> well, you should look um, at our space now. Well, what can I do? It was so small. Sorry. Also, little fun fact. It's the pool bar. The pool is over there. There's no water in it. And uh, they made the whole pool area into a smoking lounge. It feels a little bit like we are moved back in time. We're sitting here in the, I would say, the main bar of this big ship. We are pretty much alone. All the interior is really old, from the design and also the, the state the ship's in. I would guess it's minimum 30 years old, maybe even older. And also, um, it seems to be pretty empty. Sadly, we did not find this place earlier because this would have been way more comfortable. There was a lot of snoring and uh, very bright light that was really annoying. There was a security guard. Uh, he made his round um, through the ship. He saw us. He was very kind because he didn't like immediately throw us out. But he came back later, like five minutes. And now we're back uh, in the area where we stayed the night. Uh, with a lot of light and also a lot of noise because of TV and yeah. But it was a nice rest for two hours.
the next episode of our amazing world bike tour we will cycle around this infamous island and not just the two of us. And I'm gonna make you an offer that you can't refuse. We'll upload the next video earlier as soon as this one reaches 500 likes. Just press the button. If you want to see the whole story from our first pedal strokes back in Germany, here is a playlist. Apparently, it makes a huge difference. So please, if you like what we do, be so kind, leave a comment and make sure to subscribe to our channel. Switch on notifications while you're at it to never miss an episode. Thank you so much for coming with us. Until next time. And may the wind be in your back. <laughs>